you please discuss the importance of air power in support of ground operations? If I were speaking as a ground uh, 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 ground operator, uh, I would say I would never want to go into a ground operation without the support of air power. What does air power bring to a battle uh, that can't be accommodated by other ways of supporting ground troops, for example, artillery fire? Well, I was in the horse-drawn artillery myself at one time, and I, I, I know what artillery fire can do. It's just great. But uh, uh, artillery fire from the air, you have a, a, a range and a vision and uh, <clears throat> that is difficult at a mobility that is just difficult to achieve any other way. Do you... Um how do you think um, air power contributed to the success of the British forces in their fight against uh, uh, the Japanese in Burma in 1944? Well, we could, we could, we could move when they couldn't. Uh, we could get, uh, get behind them, which we did. Uh, in the special operations that General Lord Wingate was carrying on, we actually uh, moved in the equivalent of several divisions behind the Japanese. And at the big battle of Imphal, which was one of the critical battles uh, for uh, all of India, because if, if the Japanese had taken Imphal, I, I feel sure that, that India would have collapsed. And then the Japanese would have had the resources of the, the uh, of India subcontinent, and which would, uh, both the manpower and the raw materials, and then I think after that China would have fallen. So For it was uh, uh, very important to keep India on our side. As you may know, India was a colony, and the Indians didn't like that. From a, from a, um, a supporting ground operation perspective, was uh, was it more difficult just to resupply the troops that were fighting on the ground, or were the combat operations flown by the air commandos uh, the tougher challenge? I I think it was the combat operations, uh, but uh, also uh, it was possible to resupply the troops at times when no one else could resupply them. And uh, for example, uh, uh, I know on one campaign before we had this, the airlift capability in, in, into Burma, the British were surrounded by the Japanese, and uh, <clears throat> uh, they had to surrender because they couldn't get any supplies it, into the uh, area that the ground forces had secured. They made a small airstrip. We take fresh troops in, carry the wounded out, <clears throat> and pretty soon it was the Japanese who were on the outside starving rather than the British who had been uh, in, in, in former campaigns had <clears throat> been denied the accessibility to resupply.